a very pleasant good afternoon and welcome to our noonday prayer. As we enter our prayer today, of course, we are praying for our sisters and brothers in the United States, parts of Florida and the eastern coast that are being impacted, even as we speak, uh, by Hurricane Debbie. Pray that persons will remain safe and that uh, the storm will not create as many um, damage as, as, as often the case with these systems. So let us observe a moment of silent prayer as we acknowledge God's presence and as we enter this new work week. Christ came and preached peace to you who were far off and peace to those who were near. For through him we both have access in one spirit to the Father. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Today's reading comes from the first letter of Peter, chapter 2, and beginning to read from the first verse. Rid yourselves, therefore, of all malice, and all guile, insincerity, envy, and slander. Like newborn infants, long for the pure spiritual milk, so that by it you may grow into salvation, if indeed you have tasted that the Lord is good. Come to him, a living stone, though rejected by mortals, yet chosen and precious in God's sight. And like living stones, let yourselves be built into a spiritual house, be a holy priesthood, to offer spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's own people in order that you may proclaim the mighty acts of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Once you were not a people, but now you are God's people. Once you had not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Come to him a living stone, though rejected by mortals, yet chosen and precious in God's sight. And like living stones, let yourselves be built into a spiritual house and be a holy priesthood to offer spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. This coming weekend, we will be celebrating the 141st anniversary of the coming a diocese under the theme embracing our Anglican heritage, ethos, and spirituality in the beauty of God's grace. It was on the 10th of August, 1883, that the Anglican Church, in what is today Belize, officially became a separate diocese and bishopric, having our own bishop and governing authority. Previously, we were a part of the Diocese of Jamaica. We are now a part of the church in the province of the West Indies, sometimes referred to as the CPWI. CPWI, which is the Anglican Church in the Caribbean region, now consists of eight dioceses, Bahamas and the Turks and Caicos Islands, Jamaica and the Cayman Islands, Belize, Northeastern Caribbean and Aruba, Windward Islands, St. Vincent and the Grenadines and surrounding islands, Trinidad and Tobago, Barbados, and Guyana. The current Archbishop of the CPWI is the Most Reverend Dr. Howard Gregory, who is also the Bishop of Jamaica and the Cayman Islands. Let us then, my sisters and brothers, as we gather as a family of faith this coming Sunday, August 11th, let us gather in our various congregations to celebrate God's goodness to us these many, many years. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. 
your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial. Deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come to you. Let your continual mercy, O Lord, cleanse and defend your church. And because it cannot continue in safety without your help, protect and govern it always by your goodness. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Creator God, we ask for your protection and preservation during this hurricane season. We pray you to calm the wind and the waves of the sea and spare those who may be in the path of any storm or disaster. Help them always to reach safety. Open our hearts in generosity to all who may need your help. In all things and in all times, help us to remember that even when life seems dark and stormy, you are in the boat with us, guiding us to safety. Amen. My sisters and brothers, let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now indeed, may the Lord bless us and keep us. May the Lord make his face to shine upon us and be gracious to us. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon us and grant us his peace. And the peace of God which passes all understanding. Keep our hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. The blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with us this day and remain with us always. Amen. Have a blessed, safe, and productive week. Amen.